a lot of people ask, um, obviously, you know, you, I've heard uh, lots of, um, you know, relatively famous people give almost the same speech of, as I've seen is saying people will come and ask me to be their mentor. But, you know, number one, I've never really met them. I don't know, you know, what their really goals are in life and you know, that sort of thing. I mean, would I be even a good mentor? I have no idea. And so, you know, typically I, I, I coach people not to ask for a mentor relationship until they built up some other kind of relationship with them, whether it's, you know, you know, again, I'm asking for expertise or, you know, I, I, um, I, I see them in, in meetings or, you know, talk to them in the hallways, that sort of thing. And you sort of get to know them first before you, you talk about a mentee relationship. I don't mind having a one-on-one -on -one meeting with, with somebody one or two times, but, you know, a mentor relationship is something that really has to be bi-directional, right? And um, it's not always a compatibility. Uh, there. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I like this question too, because I've never asked someone to be a mentor. Maybe in my head, I thought about it, but then I figured that, you know, what, what would they say to me on this topic? And then I realized, okay, well, I just need to go learn more about the topic. So I have a specific question to ask them. That's not going to be frustratingly 101. Right? right. And then I figured, oh, there doesn't need to be this official pairing relationship to like ask. All I have to do is come up with a good enough question, go get beat up enough, get some experience. And then when I have some legitimate struggle or inquiry, just go to them and say, Hey, this is what I'm experiencing. This, what I, this is what I've done. What is your insight? And then everyone's a mentor because they respect the question because they understand your level of competence in the topic. 100%. I agree. Yeah. I, I, I love that. As a matter of fact, the, you're right. And frankly, most, you know, leaders want to spend time on that anyway, right? On those kind of, uh, those kind of pieces. We have, a, you know, I always tease my, my poor finance um, partner that, you know, I, the, the, I, the least favorite time I have in my job as CTO is spending time in budget meetings, right? You know, I would rather spend time on mentoring people and, and, uh, and talking about a new technology stack or whatever. Um, than, than doing that. And so when you, you get, when you get compelled, uh, when somebody comes, approaches you with some great question like that, oh, you want to dive in, right? So yeah, you're 100% correct. You know, find a topic, especially if you know a person's interested in it, um, then you could, you could do well at uh, researching that topic, right? Not to schmooze right. the boss or whatever, but you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, you're doing it to advance and grow yourself. And Absolutely. By necessity, you need the expert's input. And so when you raise yourself to that level, that, you know, it's, it's just amazing. It's, it's that feeling of growth.